Chip Kelly's offense, when ran correctly, can be a very quarterback-friendly offense. So today I want to take some time to dive into the film of Chip Kelly's offense. There have been some some uh, videos made that have done a, a wonderful job kind of breaking down the, the nuances and the X's and O's of Chip Kelly's offense. So I want to do it in a bit more broader detail and talk about what does he ask the quarterback to do or what does the quarterback need to do to be, have success in this offense. So we're going to look at some film from 2021 and 2022. Whenever Dorian Thompson Robinson was was a quarterback at UCLA, and it, it was ran pretty good with him right there, right? Like, like they had some a lot of success offensively. Uh, last year in 2023, you have what three different starting quarterbacks. So, not that we're omitting that. It's just I think it gives a better example of when the offense is ran at an efficient level when, when DTR is, and I think Will Howard can do a great job with the weapons that Ohio State have. I mean, you can run that offense even better at a place like Ohio State, right? So we're gonna look at some film, but before we do, let's talk about what we want to look at or what the offense says did at, at UCLA. So number one, you're going to see a lot of motion, a lot of, a lot of, you know, you, you call it um, a window dressing, whatever you want to call it. You see a lot of motion to see one, what the defense is potentially in. Are they in man? Are they in zone? And then two, you're trying just to confuse the defense as well and trying to get them out of position. So there's a few reasons why you use motion. So you're going to see in most every clip that we're going to watch, a lot of motion is being used. Number two, you're going to see some play action. So Play action in 2022 for UCLA was used 40% of DTR's passes. Last year, it was used like 29% of the time, right? So I think whenever, and we talked about this in the last video, whenever Chip Kelly's offense is running at peak standards, if you will, they want to use play action. They want to use play action to push the ball downfield. They want to use play action to get defenders out of position and just to help set up some friendly throws for the quarterback, right? And, and Will Howard was excellent off play action and we talked about that in the last video uh in, in, at kansas state he had 16 touchdowns off play action last year only four picks whenever he didn't use play action i think it was like seven touchdowns and six interceptions and he only used play action 20 something percent of the time uh, at kansas state so i think you can use play action a bit more because it's a strength for will howard and when ucla's defense is running efficiently or chip kelly's offense is running efficiently they're using play action. Then the, the last thing, or two more things we, we're going to look at is you're going to see that Chip Kelly uses the quarterback's legs. He likes having a quarterback that's athletic, and Howard is, is athletic enough. He's no DTR, but he uses his legs often at Kansas State. So we're going to see some design quarterback runs and just some partial rollouts. Like the quarterback doesn't have to be a burner. You just want him to have a threat the defense have to, to take into consideration or take into account the quarterback's legs. So we're going to see some rollouts, uh, some runs. And then, and then the last thing, which is maybe the – I don't know if this is that big of a deal, but you're, you're going to see the middle of the field or the, the throws between the numbers utilized a lot. Uh, DTR, the past two years, or in 2021 and 2022, he had 5,563 yards passing. Of those yards passing, 3,988 yards were between the numbers, so like middle of the field type throws. So I, I'm not good at math. I don't, don't know those percentages, and usually the middle of the field is utilized more, but those can be easier throws for quarterbacks. So you're going to see Chip Kelly try to find ways to attack middle of the field. We're going to see several different ways of how he goes about that. A few ways where he's trying to set up middle of the field, and then a few kind of different schemes that just use middle of the field for a, a, a place to attack, right? So just to recap before we dive into the film, we're going to see a lot of motion. We're going to see the quarterback use his legs. We're going to see some, some play action that I think can be utilized even more this year. Then we're going to see the middle of the field attack. So we got maybe six or seven clips that we're going to dive in and kind of go into to a bit more detail. Again, this isn't a super, super weedy X's, X's nose videos. There's some really good videos out there talking about uh, the, the the blocking assignments and the schemes and type of zones they're running. We're just kind of talking about Chip Kelly's offense from a more broad quarterback level. And this is your first time tuning into the channel. We thank you for tuning in. We're just a big quarterback hub. We talk all things quarterbacks, especially the college quarterback position from film breakdowns like this to just quarterback topics in general. We also have a podcast where we have current and former college pro quarterbacks come on and, and share their experiences. So if that interests you, please consider subscribing. With that said, let's go ahead and dive into the film. So this kind of highlights a few things that I want to talk about. It highlights play action, so it's a fake run. It highlights kind of we see the tail end, the um, receiver coming in motion, and then it highlights the quarterback use of his legs, right? Kelly using his legs to, to roll, even though it's a partial roll. But this is a touchdown, play action, kind of partial roll. Ball gets out quick to the tight end. I don't even know if that's, that's no, it's not even 20 yards downfield. It's just not even considered a deep ball. Uh, but it ends up being a touchdown. I think it's a touchdown, right? Yep, they call it a touchdown. But going back to the, to the play here, we see trying to get the defense out of position or seeing what they're doing, right? A lot of times when you have someone come in motion, you want to see if they're in man or if they're in zone. Looks like they're in zone here. Didn't look like anyone chased the receiver. But then we see 
receiver using, or sorry, quarterback using his legs. So we've got play action. Quarterback slightly using his legs, eyes, eyes. This is what this play action does. This is what getting the quarterback outside the pocket slightly does. It gets eyes from defenders coming in, and then you have this tight end coming open. You even see this safety drifting in as opposed to drifting out or back, right? Yeah, bad angle there, and then able to get it to the, the tight end for a touchdown. So again, play action, number one, and then using the quarterback's legs to to, to your advantage uh, here for the touchdown. We'll go ahead and watch, let's go ahead and watch the front angle here. If it, if it speeds up, we can kind of see it. Let's see, is it speeding up? Yep, there we go. Oh, okay, kind of pointless there, but, but we get the point. <laughs> let's go ahead and watch a, a few more play action clips here. Here we got another big, big gain off of play action here, and then they attack middle of the field. And I believe they use the tight end here, right? Yep, there's a tight end, tight end comes open. Ends up being a pretty big game for, for UCLA, right? So two of the things we talked about in the before the actual film came through was play action and middle of the field. They use it both here. You see the play action gets going, backers, backers. Everyone's bleeding here. He kind of nonchalantly comes in here like he's maybe pretending to block, and then he sleeks or slips out behind them. You can kind of see this backer is probably supposed to be in some zone over here, right? Uh, which he is not. It's because of that threat of the run game that way. So it gets the backer out of position. Tight end slips behind the backer. Ends up being a, a big play, right? The use of play action leads to that. Makes it a little bit easier on the quarterback. Actually, a play with no motion. Imagine that. Again, gets the backer's out of position. This backer here is who we're keying on. He's like, oh, no. Got to get back in this area. ETR knows that's exactly where you go with the ball. Ends up being a pretty big play off of play action. We'll watch a few more clips of, of seeing some more throws in the middle of the field, a few more clips of some uh, some some motion and some QB runs, and then we'll, we'll wrap, wrap the video up. So here's a touchdown from BTR. Again, we're going to see motion being involved here, right? So we'll see motion. Oh, I'm sorry. Motion coming this way. Trying to see what coverage it's in. Is there any more motion? Yep, yeah, okay. I knew it wasn't crazy. Another receiver coming in. So we see two different receivers or two different players move pre-snap. Boom touchdown there so let's see how this affects the play real quick we'll come back here so receiver coming in motion all right so we see they hand him off looks like it's probably man this receiver coming in motion they hand him off they cross so we got some type of man coverage here with zone here this linebacker is probably responsible for this receiver coming across the field bad leverage there ends up being a touchdown there right so again two receivers move pre-snap um, just trying to, to get defense out of position, trying to see the coverage and zone, or is trying to confuse the defense here ends up being a touchdown. Third and what, 12 or so, first down mark is right here. Uh, just the first example we'll use of, of Kelly using the middle of the field, right, or between the numbers. But we'll see every route is actually between the numbers here. Top receiver, inside the numbers, bottom receiver, inside the numbers. So no one's really running outside the numbers here in this scheme. But it makes the throw a bit easier for the quarterback, at least it can, right? A little shorter, you're gonna see the receiver sits here, just in that zone, could throw it with pressure in his face as well uh, from, from DTR, right? So again, we're gonna show a few examples of different plays that attack the middle of the field. Uh, this one, the receiver just sits down here. The next one will be a seam, and the next one will be kind of a design to over the middle of the field. You'll see that's a good job there, sitting in zone and takes a shot. Uh, DTR takes a shot. So again, we'll watch maybe uh, two or three more clips of them attacking middle of the field. Their middle of the field type throw on a, just a seam route from the tight end is actually a really good throw here uh, on pretty good coverage, but just a seam and good throw by DTR. But another example of another way that Kelly chooses to, to use this part of the field, balls out now, right? Not out of space. You see you got man here with some type of like robber technique it looks like. We got a, <clears throat> a safety in the middle of the field and then a deep safety here. Maybe even a different type of combination scheme, maybe over my head. But anyways, you can see the example of just using the middle of the field right there, right on that seam throw here. Took a shot too, uh, but something Kelly asked the quarterbacks to do where we talked about taking deep shots off play action, uh, but also you see this a straight drop back here and, and you know not having a lot of room for error. Really good throw by DTR. Does take a shot, ouch. Good throw here on that seam route. So here we have an example of uh, UCLA or Kelly using the middle of the field. We're going to try to spread the field out, get defenders out of position, and then use the middle of the field, right? Like we talked about, uh, Kelly does use the, the middle of the field quite often. Boom, right? We see, get out here. There's going to be space right here. Able to kind of not check it down. I think they get a first 
down actually yeah they get a first down uh, but still you can see how the design at least for this play is to get in the middle of the field open try to get people out of positions you can see they're in some type of zone this is where the hole is able to deliver to middle of the field a quick example of uh, kelly using the quarterback's legs on a quick just play action rollout here right we have saw, saw some window dressing right before the the snap of the ball bringing a guy in motion here let's see if we can go back just a little bit there's a kickoff all right so it was actually yeah i guess the first play of the game against oregon 2021 bring the guy in motion trying to see if they're in zone or they're in man they're going to have several guys coming across the field uh, but just an example of what kelly wants to do get the quarterback outside the pocket option to use the legs or throw it this has the db kind of bite up easy throw here to take what five six maybe seven yards on the first play we kind of look at from the the uh, uh front angle here get this moving along right again bring someone in motion trying to see if they can determine what covers they're in they're in some type of zone coverage here ball gets out there again just kelly using uh, the quarterback select to get outside the pocket and throw on the run back design run here again we're going to see some pre-snap movement again something that we see often in kelly's offense and there's just a straight quarterback run out here design run here trying to get the quarterback to the edge again something i think we can probably see howard do in in kelly's offense even though he doesn't the speed that dtr has still think you try to get him out of the edge at time especially depending on the situation uh, just another example of kelly using the quarterback's legs and wanting to use the quarterback's legs uh here in, in this quarterback design run all right so just just a few clips and again you could choose a ton more clips to kind of showcase what we're talking about but you saw how they use the middle of the field in different ways we saw how, how kelly uses the quarterback's legs from quarterback design runs to partial rollouts and we saw all the motion um from from receivers and tight ends pre-snap just to get defenders out of position or to see if there's a tell of what the defense could be potentially doing and then of course we saw some play action plays as well so i know this video is entirely too long but i just wanted to take a, a few minutes and kind of talk about what the quarterback is asked to do and why it's potentially a quarterback friendly offense when ran correctly but i want to hear your thoughts let me know in the comments below what you think about just chip kelly's offense uh what are some other schemes that he does that maybe we didn't mention in the video and uh let us know in the comments below and yeah like share subscribe all that youtube stuff it really does help the channel and we will see y'all next time peace